Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Flight of the Amazon Queen. And when last we left off, the Amazon Queen did indeed fly, right up until it was hit by lightning and then crashed in the middle of the jungle. Fortunately, everybody survived unhurt and have managed to get to the shore. And more importantly than that, Joe's hat survived completely unharmed. That is the most important thing after all. Okay, maybe the most important thing is the fact that they are stranded in the middle of the Amazon jungle. But don't worry, Joe has a plan. He's going to go and search the jungle for help. In 1949. I don't quite think you've grasped how difficult this challenge is going to be, Joe. Oh, and we also need to find a Commander Rocket comic. In the middle of the Amazon jungle. Keep your goals realistic, eh guys? Might as well, you know, focus on what you can achieve rather than the impossible, like trying to save the world, because who's going to save the world in the middle of the Amazon jungle, eh? Not King, that's for sure. We're just focusing on getting out of here. We're going to start by looking at Miss Plane, and as a note, I don't know what's coming now. The demo ended at around about the time when uh, Joe left the hotel, so everything from here on out is new to me. Let's go, shall we, and look at what's left of the plane. It looks pretty bad. Oh, it looks really bad. And I think we'll talk to Sparky now. Why not? He might have new things to tell us. What can I do for you, Joe? Well, we could ask you, ooh, keep an eye on Faye. That's a good idea, because I get a feeling she's not going to want to wait around here for very long. Will you keep an eye on Faye while I'm gone? You can count on me, Joe. I'll make sure she doesn't leave my sight. In fact, I'm pretty sure that both of you are inevitably going to get captured by someone at some point. This is a bit of a redundant question because I think that plane is just going to sink, but we'll ask anyway. What are the Queen's chances? Gee, Joe, I gotta admit it doesn't look good. Even if we could salvage her, she'd need a lot of work. I think he's trying to say it's never going to fly again, which makes sense. What was the name of that comic book again? It's Commander Rocket. The issue I want has Rocket battling the Chicago mob. I'd be really happy if you can find one for me. I'll do my best, Sparky. I'll be back soon. See ya, Joe. Or at this rate, why don't we just wish for a plane to be found miraculously in the middle of the jungle so that we can continue on our way. Or just head home at this rate, because I imagine Joe is going to get sued by Miss Fay. We're going to talk to her, speaking of which, and I don't think she's happy. At all. What do you want now, Joe? Nope, she's not happy at all. Let's just see if she will promise to stay put. I don't think that's likely. Promise me that you'll stay put. Give me one good reason why I should stay here while you go off for help. Some of these are sensible reasons, and some of them aren't. Let's stick with the sensible one, shall we? Like swarms of killer bees! The forest has swarms of killer bees. Okay, that's one good reason, but I'm still not convinced. Ah, we need to give more reasons. How about vampire bats? That seems sensible. Have I mentioned the vampire bats yet? Blood-sucking vampire bats? Okay, I get the message. I'll stay put. I hope you will. I really do. You'll be okay here with Sparky, won't you? Of course I'll be okay. We can sit on the bank here and watch your stupid plane sink. I think she's still mad. You're not still mad at me, are you? Why, of course not, Joe. I've gone beyond mad. I'm furious! Yep, she's mad. And out of all of these options, we can ask for an autograph. Why not, eh? It's not going to work, but we'll ask anyway. I guess an autograph is out of the question. The only thing of yours that I'd sign is your death warrant. I get the feeling she's still a bit angry. Well, there are two ways we can go. We can head up, or we can head down. And let's head up first, for no particular reason. Let's go, Joe, and go and find that help. Hopefully there's somebody up here. Squawk? What a pretty bird. Polly want a cracker? Uh oh, Princess Azura is in trouble. Uh oh, Rah! oh, oh, squawk! Hey, you can talk. Squawk! Uh, help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh oh, <whistles> oh, oh, squawk! 
Who's Trader Bob? And who's Princess Azura? Squawk! I'm being held captive. You must save me. Uh-oh! What on earth are you talking about? Who's holding who captive? Squawk! Uh-oh! Help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh-oh! Squawk! Hey, come back here. That's just great. I've only just arrived in the jungle, and already I get a cryptic message. Maybe this Trader Bob character can shed some light. I think we were just exposed to some of the plot there, Joe. Are you not eager to go and chase the plot? After that parrot! Okay, we don't know where the parrot went, but I do think that is a not-so-subtle way of saying that something else is going on here in the jungle. And there is one thing on this screen that is grabbing my attention. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh wait, it's that vine that's swinging around. I bet that's important, and considering the fact that we can highlight it, it's important. This vine looks strong enough to hold my weight. Then again, the game did throw a selection of items at us in the uh, scene where the mobsters were chasing us, and they weren't useful at all. But this item, I think, will be useful. And we have the perfect item to get it. A knife. There we go! One makeshift rope. I'm sure that'll be fine. This vine looks strong enough to hold my weight. Alright, let's just keep heading up, shall we? I'm sure we'll find more things to do up here. Like find a gorilla. I think you're in the wrong place. I don't think you're meant to be here. Well, let's have a look at this gorilla, shall we? Phew, that sure is big. Let's talk to the gorilla? Um, hi. I'm Joe King. <laughs> yep, I don't understand a word you're saying. Hmm, what do we do? We could ask to see if the gorilla will move. We could ask about the parrot. Did a parrot come through here recently? <laughs> Ch chonga, chonga. I guess that's, uh, no. Where's Rincewind when you need him to translate, eh? Well, I don't think we're going to be making any progress talking about that. Let's try talking about something else, shall we? Hello again. Let's just cut to Bache, shall we? We don't speak, ape. Sorry, pal, but I don't speak ape. What else can we talk about? Hmm. Gorilla? Yeah, he is a gorilla. We could say that he's a gorilla. Two words, is it a movie? We're not playing charades here, Joe. Let's ask about the fact that he's a gorilla. Say, uh, you're a gorilla, ain't you? Uh huh. Uh, 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 gorilla. Okay, well, yeah, I thought they came from Africa. I thought they came from Africa, so I think he may be in the wrong place. I thought gorillas came from Africa. <laughs> Say, buddy, I think you're right. Gorillas are only found in Africa. That? You just spoke English. Why did you just speak English there? Hey, a talking gorilla! Where? You, pal. You shouldn't even exist. Gee, I guess you're right. In that case, I'd better get out of here. Well... How freaky! A phantom primate. Oh, well, I guess the gorilla's out of the way now. We could go that way. Or we could head back the way we came. I think the pinnacle is somewhere we don't want to go just yet. Not because I know that we don't have to go there, but because it seems kind of far more important than just random jungle, and I don't have anywhere near enough items to go to somewhere important yet. Let's head back, shall we? There was another route we could have taken. Down here, for instance. We'll just head back this way, and then down the other path by where Sparky and Faye are. All right, we'll just head this way and see what else we can find. To this way, Joe! And down here is... That doesn't look safe at all. Not at all. 
let's have a look at this. Yep, that bridge looks very precarious. I wouldn't trust walking over that. We'd probably die. That's it looks a... too dangerous to cross. It definitely looks too dangerous to cross. But there is something over here that we can get, and that is a banana. The bridge isn't safe enough to cross. Maybe we can make it safe enough to cross. Can we look at the banana tree from here? The bridge isn't safe enough to cross. Okay, we can't look at anything while we're on this side of the bridge. And that bridge, how are we gonna make that safer? We could use the vine, I guess. It's a little bit of a precarious way of crossing even with the vine, but we'll give it a try. Ooh, magically it's fixed. I don't think that's how vines work. But hey, it looks as good as new. I have no idea how that happened, but we're going to walk over that bridge anyway and get that banana. I'm sure that banana will be useful for something. Or the banana won't be useful for anything. But we had to solve a puzzle to get it, so I presume that this item is important. Let's look at the tree first. Boy, there sure are a lot of bananas up there. But we could only grab one of them, and that is this one here. It's six inches long, slightly curved, and yellow. Yep, it's a banana, all right. Well, we're going to take that banana. Banana get. And now, is there anywhere else we can go? There isn't anywhere here or here. I guess we'll just head back then. And head the way we came, and return to where that gorilla used to be. And now isn't. Because that gorilla doesn't exist anymore. All right, down we go. And we'll just check to see if Faye is still here. Faye is still here, and so is Sparky. That's always encouraging. Let's go back the way we came, and I suppose we'll have to go and uh, head to that uh, pinnacle. I think it's the only route we can take. Then again, there was a path to the south as well. I don't think the game is going to kill us yet, if it is going to kill us. It doesn't seem like the kind of game where we can die. So I think we can explore at our leisure. And we can't go south here, so we're just going to have to head to the pinnacle. Why not, eh? What's the worst that could happen while we go there? We could have a look at it first, I suppose, from a distance. What does it look like? I bet I could see the entire jungle from up there. That is actually a really good idea. Let's go and see the entire jungle. Meanwhile, uh-oh. That creep has left us here. He makes me so mad. I feel better now. That was expensive perfume. So? I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. What are you gonna do now? I'm going for help. But Joe said to stay put. Well, he can go jump in the lake. Remember when you said you'd keep an eye on her, Sparky? I don't think you've succeeded at that. There are a few things here that we can look at. There is the Floater Inc. camp over there. There is Trader Bob there. There is the crash site there. There is a jetty here. There's nothing there at all. Not at all. There is also the jungle here. Anything over here? It would seem like there's nothing over here. For now, we're going to go back to the crash site, because nothing bad has happened at all. Oh wait, something bad has happened, hasn't it? Yep, that is that Faye has left, although we don't know that yet, even though we, the player, do know that. More importantly, an item has been thrown in the lake that we can probably go and get. Let's go and talk to Sparky, shall we? Let's hope Sparky is still here. And he is. And he's not mentioning that Faye is gone. Let's have a look at that perfume, shall we? That'd certainly brighten up any girl's day. Well, let's grab it. I've put my arm in piranha-infested waters enough times for one day. Oh, I guess we can't go and get it then. Can we use the jerky on the perfume to try and lure the piranhas away? That doesn't seem to work. We'll be back for that later. Meanwhile, we'll talk to Sparky here. He's looking a bit pudgy. He eats too much beef jerky. I thought that you'd comment on the fact that he's trying to fix something there, but never mind. 
Let's go find out where Faye went, shall we? Hello, Joe. Well, where is Faye? Where's Faye? I told you to look after her. Gee, uh, sorry, Joe, but she just upped and left. Muttered something about going for help. That is not encouraging. Why didn't you stop her? I tried really hard to stop her, honest. But she wouldn't listen to me. You didn't try really hard at all. Did you tell her about the wild animals? Uh-huh, but that didn't help one bit. She sure is one determined dame. She's going to get herself into trouble. How long ago did she leave? Gee, I think it was about an hour ago. No, maybe it was two hours. Or was it a half an hour? You know, I should have brought my Commander Rocket watch. Or maybe you should have just had a better grasp of time. Which way did she go? She headed off toward the Pinnacle. I better go find her. Uh, I'll stay here in case she comes back. That was the direction that we came from. Why didn't we encounter her on our way back? Maybe she went through the jungle, whereas we went on the path. Who can say, eh? Either way, Faye is now missing. So not only do we need to go and find help, we also need to find her as well. Or more likely, she'll find us when we're in trouble. Hi, Sparky. Hi, Joe. What can I do for you? Anything else you can talk about here? Ah, that's something we can talk about. Sparky, what are you doing to the engine block? I'm filing off the rough edges. You know what, Joe? I don't think the insurance company's gonna cover this one. I don't think they're going to either. What insurance company? You know, Crazy Kevin's Aircraft Insurance. You crash them, we cash them. Remember them? Ah, I think I've got some bad news for you. You mean Crazy Kevin, who filed for bankruptcy? That's him! Uh, he still owes me three lessons with Crazy Kevin's ballroom dancing school. I don't think that you're going to get them. Everybody knows that Crazy Kevin is a con artist. A con artist? But, but he dances so well. Who would have thought? Unfortunately, I don't think that you're uh, going to get those dancing lessons. And we're not going to get any insurance money. Things are looking bad. Could I have one of your files? Certainly, Joe. Just as soon as you get me my comic book. All right already. I'm working on it. Ah, so we have to get him an item first, which makes sense. I gotta go now. I'll just stay here. Good plan, Sparky. You stay there and try not to walk off to go and find help. We don't want to try and find you as well, after all. Alright, I think we'll head back to the uh, Pinnacle and see if we can go to Trader Bob. After all, that parrot did talk about Trader Bob, so Trader Bob must be very important. And I did get that reference that the parrot was doing, it wasn't very subtle. Alright, to the Pinnacle we go! If only we could fast travel to the Pinnacle, eh? That would make navigating this place far easier. We're going to go to Trader Bob. Okay, I hear music that really shouldn't be in the Amazon jungle right now. And here is a sign. Welcome to Trader Bob's 24-hour general store and authentic native village playground. This place is going to be terrible, isn't it? I think it is. Dedicated to Pini, the great god of fertility. That's not very subtle, guys. Let's talk to you, shall we? Whoa, now that's what I call ugly. Alright, let's have a conversation, shall we? Okay, the chances that you're actually going to be able to understand me are slim. In fact, there we go. We have to, uh, focus on a very specific point to start a conversation. Hello, what are you looking at? Okay, you're not actually going to talk to me, are you? Did you hear me, big guy? Apparently not. Do you come from around here? Okay, I'm clearly missing how they communicate here, because they're not communicating with words, they're communicating with, uh, signs instead. You still aren't gonna talk to me, are you? Okay, we can't understand you. I give up. And he grins at us in satisfaction at that statement. Ah well, we're going to move over here. Ah, here is Trader Bob's, and it really, 
really doesn't fit in with the aesthetic of everywhere else. Where is he getting that electricity from in 1949? We'll never know, eh? For when we come back, folks, we're going to go and talk to Trader Bob and everyone else that's here. Maybe we can find out what's going on in the Amazon jungle and how we can help, as we're inevitably going to have to help, aren't we? Probably. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. <laughs>